So I am logging into the Bethpage mobile banking app for the first time. Since I don't have an account, I'm going to go into some of the other areas to browse around branches and ATMs. So it takes me to, I think that is Long Island. Very quick though. I'm going to scroll out and look at where I live in Connecticut. So from a distance, it looks like there's no branches in Connecticut, but when you scroll in, you can see them. Let's locate me. So there's a bunch. Pretty good, pretty fast. Everything looks very clear. What about the shared branches? And the shared branches pop up very quickly as well. Um, let's see what's over here. Let's go back to the app itself. I have a feeling that this took us to like the website products. within 10 seconds. Everything seems to be working. I like this setup. It seems very neat and clean. It's not too wordy. I like the visuals next to the different sections. For example, the wallet and money bag next to banking products and borrowing. It does a good job of breaking them up into sections. Blue, orange, and white seems to mirror Beth Page's color scheme well. Let's look at mobile banking. So mobile apps and credit card app are different. It would seem like credit card app could be within the main mobile app, but we'll learn more. Okay. That is very small and I can't zoom in on my phone, so it's hard for me to see. Again, my phone won't let me zoom in, the app won't, so I can't see what is on the screen of the iPhone, the visual. Again, and there's the last one. Can't see the visuals on the iPhone for any of those. I clicked download on the app store, nothing happened. Clicked it again. How about that page tablet app? Again, nothing. But I think it's important that they distinguish between the iPhone and tablet because some older generations may not know that there are two different apps or that there are two different types of devices that you could use to download the app. For example, they may only know about a smartphone and not understand what a tablet is, or they may un only own an iPad and not know you could get this on a smartphone, so it's good to put them both on the website. Um, now let's go back to where we wanted to, oops, I don't think there's a back button. Here's the credit card app. Again, this seems like it should be under the mobile banking app. Maybe they could be one. I understand this is just for your credit card transactions. Let's see if you can download that in the app store. Nope, that button doesn't work either. Okay. 
and there's no back button but let's click mobile banking text banking that is convenient let's see if this works download our mobile app nope that is not a click it just says download that maybe add a button where some it would take them to download it 